Reports of the autonomous zone in Minneapolis have also been surfacing. News Nation reporter Brian Enton posted a video on Twitter of him and his crew filming outside the zone when they were approached by two individuals and told to leave or they would, quote, be in a bad situation. Dubbed the Free State of George Floyd, the zone was established last year shortly after Floyd's death and aims to keep out police and other response teams. One of two business owners interviewed by a local outlet whose businesses are near the zone say that nobody can come in if someone is shot. These two business owners specifically complain about the amount of violence in the zone that is hurting their businesses. News Nation reports that crime in the area rose in 2020 and included 19 non-fatal and fatal shootings. Minnesota Police Chief Madaria Arredondo said that shot spotter activations which is a system designed to notify police when nearby gunshots are heard, have increased over 2,500% in the free state of George Floyd in 2020, compared to numbers in 2019. Robberies and assaults are also up 378% in 2020, compared to numbers in 2019. Arredondo has announced a joint venture with state and federal law enforcement, including the FBI, to monitor the area for crime, and is working on reopening the area to the public soon. Go to FISM.TV slash news for more.